call, show you around, show you some key points and some fun things that are around. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a breezy day, but it's beautiful outside. It is beautiful here in the Ozarks right now. We've got a very sunny day and you're probably catching a lot of the breeze that's happening. Uh, what can we say about where we are in this location, yeah, Abby? So Did you introduce yourself? Well, I think so. Yeah. Maybe not. I'm okay. Abby. <laughs> um, I'll be a senior here at the University of Arkansas. Absolutely. And my major is advertising and public relations. Sure. So here we're literally on the side of a hill. We at are. The university. They're down there is Buchanan Drove. One of the entrances. The other entrance is far down there. And we're actually going to walk through both of them. It's one big, long rectangle. There we go. And some things that are kind of around us here, we've got Look up. Yoakum and Humphreys. Uh -huh, up here. It's tucked a little bit right in front. Sure. On the other side, we've got the Razorback Stadium, which you can't really see from here. Mm -hmm. And then the Hyper is just a quick roll down the hill. And the Hyper is, what Our is the Hyper? Our workout facility. Nice. So there's all kinds of things. It's, there's a pool, there's racquetball, there's a, a gym, there's rooms where all the classes are held. There's all kinds of things. And all part of your student fees. Yes. So, yeah. so free to go. So if you are enrolled in the university, you are free to go to the Hyper. Sure. I thought I might also point out dining hall up here is Bruff, yep. right? And that's the main dining hall? I would say, yeah. yeah. The other one is by over by the Maples. Mm -hmm. in, in the uh, north end of campus. Yeah, so Bruff is usually the one that a lot of people go to during sure. the day because it's central to campus. Then we have the one on the south end, which is at Pomfret, which we were just at yesterday. Yeah, the Pomfret area. Yeah. You ready to head in? Let's go. Let's go. We'll get out of this wind. And by the way, everybody, if you want to, feel free to ask us questions as we go. And we're happy to answer them as they come in. So we're now going to the front of Buchanan Droke. So this that we're walking into is the front lobby and mm -hmm. office. So it's a place where a lot of students can hang out, socialize. Sure. And then this is the office where you'll get your packages and uh, things like that. There's always going to be someone working. I might point out that above you is uh, the, the designation BDGR and that's kind of uh, Buchanan Droke, Glad and Rip, because those two halls are oftentimes associated with each other. Yeah, and sometimes they refer to it as Badger. Yep. The collection of the two of them together. Um, let's see what else we want to see in here. I'm going to go for a kind of a 360 on this lobby. Yeah. Yep. There we are. Welcome to Buchanan Droke, it says right there. And um, this is again one of the, the main lobbies. There's two of them, one on each side, and television and uh, some couches, and yeah. You wanna head on down? Let's go. Okay, go fantastic. First. Yes, we'll go down to the basement, which is actually, I mean, it sounds like a, a, a place where you wouldn't necessarily wanna go, but it's this, one of the central hubs of where everybody meets, right? Yep, yeah, it's probably the most common, I guess, hangout area. Mm -hmm. It's the largest in here, and they have a lot of programs and things like that. Here. Sure. So it's a big social gathering area. And how big is Buchanan Drove? There's about 100 students staying here. Three floors. Three right? floors, yep. All um, freshmen, women. Yes. And uh, here we're looking at kind of the hallway. Uh, basically it goes in one long direction mm -hmm. that way. Yeah, it's a very skinny but long residence hall. Very skinny but long residence hall, exactly. And uh, I think we're coming up on the kitchen area, right? Yeah, it'll be up here on our left. So bear with us, the kitchen is being used, right? Right now, this hall is being used by our staff who are covering our server conferences and things like that. So you're gonna see things maybe a little in disarray. They'll definitely be much better by the time you move in in August. Uh, the kitchen, you're kind gonna see, is kind of, kind of a mess at the moment, but we still wanna show it to you. And you got the, uh, the, the um, ice machine there, and we've got the new uh, oven. In fact, the Lead Hogs, which is a group of students who arrive early and like help out with stuff, so they ended up raising some money um, to uh, uh, put the uh, kitchen with even more items. Yes. And Florence is asking a question. She's asking us how many students live here? Just about 100. About 100 female students, yeah. So let's continue on into the basement area. And again, feel free to ask questions. We invite them. 
On our right is going to be the laundry room. All right, sure. Let's take the tour of the laundry room. So there's three washers and four dryers. Mm -hmm. Yep. And... Can you tell us a little bit about the laundry alert system that's coming? Yeah, so coming in the fall is the laundry alert system. Mm -hmm. And you'll just pull that up on your phone. And it can tell you which washers and dryers are in use, which aren't. And when you do have a load in the washer or dryer, you can have an email or text notification sent to your phone to let you know when your laundry is done. So if you want to run to class but get your laundry done, you don't have to worry about people coming in and taking it out or taking your clothes because your phone, you'll get a notification on it telling you that your laundry is done. You can just come back and pick it up. Sure. sure. So that's a big convenience. And also, there's no coin <laughs> intake on any of these things. It's paid for through student fees, so you have access to free laundry, um, washer and dryer. Okay. And then of course right now, here we have our recycling bins that we very much encourage you to use. And we're about to head into the main area. Yep. Great, so here we are in the- basement area here. We've got, there's a TV. Sure. Um, Actually, and I'm seeing, you know, uh, um, a lot of uh, blankets and stuff. Yes. Were you telling me, or was it you, Kent, who was telling me that sometimes people come here and they just kind of watch a movie and they all yeah, sort of like bunkin' party style. A few times in the summer already I've been here and there's been all the people who are living here now uh -huh. huddled up down here. They bring their blankets, the popcorn, and they all watch movies. So it's really a fun time. It's a good, smaller, more intimate environment where students all come together and they'll have movie nights and game nights. So. What was one of the movies you guys watched? I didn't watch it. I was just passing through. Oh, okay. So. You just noticed it happening. Yeah, gotcha, like, gotcha. Oh, that's really cool. So let me get a uh, 360 of this space so people yeah. have a sense of it. I'm going to walk here to the middle so I can get a better sense. There's, yeah. And air hockey, for those of you who are big air hockey enthusiasts. So let me just get a 360 of it. Bean bag, purple. Here we are. We've got vending machines, of course, down here, which are very important. And uh, again, this hall is being used right now by our uh, Calford staff to, uh, to live in as they um, do all the work. So, you know, we've got a lived-in space at the moment. Great. Well, there we are. Yeah. Um, shall we head on down? Yeah, we can go up and see the other lobby area. Right, right. So we're going to walk through the rest of this uh, hallway and its rectangular single line style. And then we're going to go up and look at a room too. And a bathroom as a matter of fact. Here we go. So we're, we're looking very soon at the parallel lobby to the other one that we entered into. Yes. No office, just the lobby. No office, just the lobby. Great, so here again is the uh, parallel lobby area that we have. And people really do, they hang out here and get together. They meet here, I would imagine, a lot to go yeah. use things together. Yeah. yeah, a lot of times they'll come and meet here because you can get into the lobby, but you've got to fob in. Well, this one's different, you have to fob in here. But mm -hmm. the other yeah. lobby, you can just wait in the lobby area instead of having to fob into both doors. So sure. a lot of people wait and hang out there, wait for each other. Let's uh, check out the bathroom real quick. And uh, again, encourage you to ask any questions you might have. After we visit the bathroom, we're going to go into one of the rooms and take some measurements as requested. But we'll also just kind of talk about the rooms on the whole. Yeah, we want to knock. Nobody's in there. We're clear? Okay, good. Okay, so we're looking at the bathroom here. And you've got the showers right there. Of which there are, well, let's see, four showers. And then all the sinks here. And this and actually used to be an all-man's residence hall, so that's why there's still two urinals that you see. Oh, yeah, okay. Two urinals there just from the former usage of this space. Yeah. And then we've got our stalls back here, of course. So, it looks like there's actually, what, two bathrooms on each floor? I believe so, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, great. Well, let's head on in. 
to room 115. If you happen to be uh, Buchanan Drug 115, we're in your room. <laughs> okay, so let's, let me get here from this side. Let's see if I can't get you an angle. We have a wall unit right there for air conditioning. Tape measure, just in case we need it. And then we've got two beds. Uh, what you're seeing underneath, want to tell us about what that is? Yeah, so you, these beds are loftable. So underneath you're seeing the second half of being able to loft it up to a bunk. And so what you do then is just, it's another pair of these in the frame, mm -hmm. uh, or the, this part of the frame to hold it up. Mm -hmm. And that just stacks on top of each other, and then you raise your bed up all the way to the top. And it becomes a bunk, and you can put your desk over there, you put your dresser under there, or your hammock under there. <laughs> it's the most ingenious thing I've ever seen. You've, you've seen a hammock underneath before? Yeah. Wow. My roommate did it. It was awesome. Really? Oh, so. Fully lofted with a yes. hammock underneath. Yes. Okay. So there's two, you know, there's obviously two sides. There's the window side right here. And again, you see the rest of the lofting equipment. And um, let's see, let's look at the, the bureaus. I guess, what, what would those be called? Cabinets there? Dresser. Okay. Dressers, yeah. yeah You've got these, three shelves. Mm -hmm. And they're actually stackable. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people will take it and put one on top of the other and just divide it in half. Oh, I see. Okay. So it opens up some more floor space. Gotcha. Gotcha. So that's, they're heavy, but it's possible. <laughs> it is possible to do that. Yeah. You bet. Um, let me go through and see the uh, closet area. You want to open up this closet for us? So here's your closet. It's got a shelf. And then you can see that there's a railing to mm -hmm. hang all your clothes on. Sure. I think I see a command hook up there. Is that right? Yeah. I think that's just left over from somebody. Probably so. They all come like that. <laughs> so bring your own command hooks yes, if you're going to be using them. Um, there's space there and there. Yeah. So let me look at these two desks. Um, there are two of them here, obviously, because you have two people living here. Yeah. Can, can you take the chair apart? You don't have to sit in it. Like yeah, just show the usage of it. So, so this chair, chair has Go ahead. two different purposes here. It is a desk chair. Uh, and then there's also a little rocking chair. Nice. So you can look back. With a tray or a stool also. Uh -huh. So it converts that way. I think that one might be resolved there. You yeah. know, I, I did not know that until someone showed that to me. So <laughs> hopefully, pro tip, convert yeah. it to a uh, chair and little table if you need. It's nice for movie nights, you know? Some people use these dressers to put their TV on. Mm -hmm. And then there's not a whole lot of seating area if you want to have people over. Right. And so you're desk chairs become little lounge chairs. Just throw a pillow on them and you're good. There you go. I've heard that they're also good for gaming. I've heard that. You know, I don't game very often okay. besides Pokemon. So... <laughs> what level are you now? Uh, seven. Oh, you were just one like Monday. I know. Wow, okay. So uh, Remington asked the questions, are the floors carpeted? Yes. And yes, they are. They are carpeted. There is the carpet right there. And another interesting detail about this is, of course, we have wall units here, and it's blowing out some pretty cold air right now. Like, I'm a little cold. Are you a little sure. cold? Okay. <laughs> but we also have up above... A yes. And this is left over from the pre-air um, pre conditioning days, which, you know, never bad to have a fan going. It makes it classy in here. Yeah, it does. It adds a, adds a little class to it. <laughs> and um, let's see, it was remodeled 2010. 2010? So a lot of this stuff is furniture that comes from 2010. Um, so fairly new. Yeah, fairly new. No nicks and damages and stuff. Um, since we haven't got any requests specifically for measurements, why don't you use your cheat sheet and kind of read us some of the measurements. I know that one question that gets asked a lot the is the mattress sizes. Yeah. yeah, so the mattress, you get two regular size mattresses. They're not extra long. Mm -hmm. um, Let me get you out of the light because you're kind of backlit. And that is, backlit. those are what, 70? 75, right? Yeah, it doesn't say on here, but yeah. 75. Gotcha. Plan so accordingly for that. Mm -hmm. And then, what else? They loft up to 81 inches, is that right? Is that fully lofted? Fully lofted, so if you use both of these, it can go up to 81 inches. I think we measured it as 36, if you don't. Is that right? We can measure it again, just to make sure. We brought the tape measure, gotta use it. Yep, just about 36. 
So 36, but then if you end up lofting it with the extra thing, it can go up to 81. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That might be a little bit harder. They all have the piping in them, right? Yeah, let's add that. Let's mention that detail. I'm pretty sure. This is sort of a, a piping that goes through the room, just to be aware of. You can build with it. Uh, Carrie asks, how many electrical outlets in each room? It seems to be a popular question. Yeah, yeah. We've got <clears throat> one, two, three. And then it looks like this is one, but I don't know if it's. Can you see? That's one, but it's just for the air conditioner, so it's not in use. Okay. So it looks like three. Looks like three? Yeah. I feel like there's probably more than that, but certainly if you um, bring a power strip, that can be used. Are there any restrictions on the power strips, Kent? Oh, um, here's four. Okay, so there's four. There's another one back here. Is there one on that side as well? Uh, okay. Sure. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like there are four. Um, there's, there's one over here, but it's partially used for yeah. the electronics. And power strips, what, what are the rules uh, on that? Need, they need to include an internal circuit breaker. Okay. And they need to be UL approved. UL, what United, UL? Lab, United Laboratories approved. United they'll, Laboratories approved. They'll have a little UL symbol on those. Okay, things. okay, yeah. Then those are fine. You can extend your number of outlets, because I mean, you know, people need a lot of outlets. Yeah, I brought a couple surge protectors when I was living freshman year. I put one for my desk and one for my Area. <laughs> right. Pam asks, is there cable in each room? And the answer to that is yes. There is. In fact, uh, we have a new agreement with uh, Cox that's going to bring HBO and digital to every every room. So we're excited about that this, this fall. Awesome. Um, let's see. Any other measurements we want to mention? Probably the windows. The that windows? Yeah, people like to do window treatments, it seems like. So, so let's see. window with blinds. It says 89 width, 53 height. Okay. So from wall to wall is 89, and it looks like it'll fit a tension rod. If mm -hmm. anyone wants any curtains, there's that option, just to keep them on the air conditioner. Yeah. And then it's 53 height. I'm going to come around on this side of you, so it's not so backlit. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to go right here and look at that. Yeah, okay. Um, well, let's see what other things we can tell you about the room that I will be helpful. One important thing would uh -huh. note that this bed on this side of the wall uh -huh. is going to be extended oh, out. Oh, right. From the okay, wall yeah. Right Let me show them what that means. Yeah. So, because of the architectural detail here, you kind of have this space on this side. And that's perfect for like a narrow um, nice. a narrow table or a nightstand. Yeah, something like that. So, be aware of that. Let me go ahead and get an angle from here, kind of as far out as I can. Yeah. Uh, Dory asked who takes care of lofting beds, and again, I'm, I'm going to find that out for you, and I will post that on... Uh, typically, typically um, students loft them when they move in with their parents or their friends' help. Yeah. Um, okay. If they're having trouble with it, they can always complete a maintenance request and get some assistance. Sure. But typically, they're, they're easy enough that you can put them together yourself. Yeah. Okay. It'd be best to bring a rubber mallet. That's a very important. Mine got stuck and we had to put in a maintenance Bring request. a rubber mallet, yeah. If you plan on lofting your bed yourself, bring a rubber mallet for sure. That makes sense. Um, so, uh, Dory, the answer that Kent was sharing was, um, in general, uh, students can do it uh, themselves with a rubber mallet, but if you run into any problems, we do have uh, facilities who can help too. Let me do some more research in there for that, of that about that for you. Um, <clears throat> Dory asks, is there room for a refrigerator and microwave? And yes. yeah. We suggest, well, I suggest. Um, <laughs> Abby suggests. <laughs> putting this up to the top notch right here if you mm -hmm. don't want it fully lofted. Yeah. And then from under there, you can fit a pretty decent sized refrigerator. And then students will sometimes put their microwave under there too, or they'll put their microwave on here. Or if they're not going to use their desk on their desk, I've even mm -hmm. seen someone put it on top of the closet depending on if you're tall enough to reach. Right. So there's plenty of options there for that. And you had, did you have a microwave your freshman year? Mm -hmm. We had a microwave and a fridge. And a fridge. Yeah, but we, because I lived in Yoakum, mm -hmm. so we had by our window, this was extended out a little bit more, so we put our microwave on top of that and our gotcha. fridge under the bed. Okay. Well, um, let's see. I think that's uh, all the questions we've gotten so far. 
Have we told folks we want to tell them about Buchanan Droke? Uh, I believe so. Just be excited. It's happening. <laughs> Move in August. It's exciting for sure. It is. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do a final call for questions if anybody has anything else. I'll put in a little tip there though. Uh, I want to mention our Pinterest page. I've been okay. working on our Pinterest page pretty much all summer trying to get it ready for all the incoming freshmen. So there's mm -hmm. all kinds of dorm food ideas on how to cook in your dorm room. There's some decoration ideas and then there's some more pictures and links to our actual campus communities page on the housing website. And so you can get more pictures of your hall and plan for what you want for. Certainly the food is yes. always a big part of your freshman year. Oh, yeah. uh, is there a dish that you recommend? For your dorm room, I tell people my most fun thing to make was the grilled cheese with the iron, because mm -hmm. <laughs> that was fun. And there's a recipe for that on the Pinterest page. And there's other ways to make your ramen more exciting and how to cook an egg in a microwave and all kinds of fun things to do. And there's all kinds of mugs or meals that you can make in a mug. So, Meal in a mug. Mm -hmm. Had not heard that one. Yeah. Uh, Carrie will uh, sign us off with this question. Can you move the wardrobes? Yes, they're movable. Your options are probably fairly limited based on the uh, layout of the room. Mm -hmm. so, you do not have to move it. Everybody can be moved. Yes, right. it can be moved. I don't know if that one's on wheels or not. Can you push it just to it see? It doesn't look like it's, it's on I don't think it's on wheels, but certainly it can be moved. Yeah. There's um, some decorating ideas on the um, Buchanan Droke uh, webpage on our website. Okay. Uh, the women whose room are photographed there did a really cool job with their room, with their decorating and moving furniture around. So I recommend if you're looking for at least one one room example, uh, to check out our website. Okay. Can sit down and look what looks like. Uh, Caitlin asked specifically, what is the Pinterest page called? All of our social media is at U -ark, U -A -R -K, housing, and then we use the hashtag UARCHOME to organize a lot of our content. And you can search on Pinterest too, if that doesn't work, just try searching mm -hmm. multiple different things like University of Arkansas Housing, or Housing UARC, like just type in some keywords if that specific one doesn't work. Sure. And there's a link on our homepage also. Dory asks, and this will be our final question, how much space is between the top of the wardrobe and the ceiling? Is there room for a TV? Uh, yeah, I think there is on You want to use this one? Yeah, because yeah, that one has that else. little detail there. That... So if you put your TV on this side, it's 30 inches tall. 30 inches tall between the top of the closet and the roof. Yes. Hey, um, thanks everybody for joining us on this tour of uh, Buchanan Droke. We had a blast. And we'll be back at uh, two when we do Glad Rip. Glad Rip, the other part of Badger. Yes. Thank you.